Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here because we are working on a sword breaker. Yes, indeed. It's coming along. It's looking good. We're doing lots of filing and forging and then going to be moving on to all kinds of ridiculous finish work. This is going to be one brilliant project. It's a thrill to bring you along. Um, I'm very embarrassed to say that the first thing I'm going to do is redo the thing that I've already redone a couple of times. You're going to be really, really good at forging guards, by the Well, time. what I'm now going to do is I'm going to squish out a piece of steel and then plasma cut it out. So, <laughs> <laughs> before we jump into that, we'll thank today's sponsor, which is NordVPN. NordVPN is all about keeping you safe while it is that you're online, especially as you may be traveling this summer season and getting yourself on unsecured Wi-Fi networks. They act as an intermediary between you and the websites you browse, encrypting the data that is sent between you and Nord servers. They have 5,700 of them in over 59 countries. And it all works to keep you safe while you're online. So thank you, Nord, for sponsoring this video. If you guys hit my link in the description, nordvpn.com forward slash forge, you're going to get 75% off a three-year plan, as well as an extra month for free using code FORGE. Thank you, Nord, for sponsoring the episode. I'm gonna start smashing some steel, because I got myself a problem. I am still not a good enough blacksmith to even come close to extraordinarily roughly forging out this piece to size. So, if I can't have my way doing it the right way, I'm just gonna use way more force and way more heat and beat the daylights out of this piece of steel and then cut it out with a torch. Well, that is the most ugly forging that I have ever done. But after a whole bunch of attempts, despite it being the ugliest thing that I've, that I've touched, it is a whole lot more successful than the other attempts that I did. So I will treat that as a grand success and I hope to make up for the ugliness that it's in now with the uh, work that we're about to be doing to it in the near future. I'm actually now going to anneal this. I'd quenched this um, so that I could put that pattern on there and see if I had a large enough piece of steel. I'm going to put it in the forge, let it cool down nice and slow before it's back to the grinder to start grinding on it. Or in fact, before it's to the plasma cutter to uh, hack off some of the excess material. Tried the saw, ended up using the plasma cutter, made short work of it. I think Will is getting set to do something pretty interesting. So I've got some materials here. This here is a triangular file that our friend modified to fit into the die filer. It's got a piece of aluminum on the top and bottom. Uh, and the piece for the top is, uh, as you guys have seen on the die filer, there's a guide up there. So if you need more rigidity and more stability, this piece would uh, track that piece tracks inside of it up and down so you can't flex it back and forth which is going to be a big deal with something as thin as this when we put in some pressure on there so i'm going to go ahead turn this take about 50 thousandths off the entire diameter drill a 7 30 second hole so that this thing will fit inside of it i'm going to go ahead put the file inside the piece of steel so we've got our piece of big steel. We're going to drill a hole. Round file will be able to come out of it like that. We'll cut it in half and we'll have a big old chunk of steel on one side, a nice section of file in the center, and steel on the other side for the guide. Let's go ahead, throw this thing in the bandsaw, cut it down, throw it in the lathe, turn it down. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead, turn it down, drill some holes, do all that good stuff. Let's get to it. Okay. 
it works. Wow, we really did not drill very far in. I'm gonna go ahead, cut this bad boy in half, and then continue drilling holes. That is not very straight. In fact, that's that's downright really bad. But it's good enough for a die filer, so it'll work. Okay, we've got our pieces. One of these is hollow, one of these, the file end sits inside. We're gonna super glue this end. We're gonna chop off that end and slide the tube over it. So that tube covers the teeth, so it has a good surface for sliding up and down on the support arm over there. Let's go ahead and go into the grinding room. Whip ourselves up a little angle grinder, disc action. Chop off the end of that file, get to super gluing. And that's why I didn't really want to go with super glue. Now it seems solid. How's it going, Will? Oh, I'm time's just filing by. Sorry, I mean flying by. Oh, hey that was a good one. How did the filing machine go? It, With, wait, where, where did it go? The one that we made? Yeah, the one that you made. Right here. That is so cool. It worked surprisingly well. You super glued it in. Yep. And it, it just worked. It came out the first time and then I put it back in and it like set. That's good. Like super glue, like oxidized for a second and then. That's awesome. So apparently we can make our own die filing files. Sweet. You know? Yeah. Because we have a die filer on the way. We got so excited about this one. Yeah. We were like, this is awesome. We used it for 10 minutes and then immediately proceeded to looking at how to actually have one in the workshop. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a cool project because we actually have to kind of like half kind of maybe sort of maybe make the die filer that we have coming. Will has got a drop file on the floor that he's just picked up, yeah. and I have just made these on the computer. We had this drawing um, that Will did a very good job on, but of course the trouble with the drawing is, you know, things aren't exactly even and symmetrical, and I want to be using this as a really good reference for cutting out and grinding the rest of, uh, of this piece. So, I made one quarter of the piece, flipped it all around, made one half of this little uh, ring here, flipped it around, so we have a perfectly even, symmetrical straight piece of paper that I can cut out, stick on top of the other thing, or just stick on top of the other thing, and then uh, I'm gonna work all the steel to it, or I'm gonna do that little center punch, uh, that little dot, connect the dot, join the dot trick that I did on, uh, on the blade of the piece to make sure that I can bring this all in exactly where we need it. How's it looking, Will? Well, I just ground on a little bit to see what it actually looked like underneath all that dicum. And I think we might just have to do a little bit of a test etch. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Ridiculously nice. Uh, what? This thing is incredible! Alright, let's give it a grind. I am making progress on grinding the profile on this piece, but the trouble is, I have the paper on it, and the paper is on it, so that I can see where it is that I actually need to make progress to, but paper burns, and the super glue that's joining the paper to the masking tape, and the adhesive of the masking tape that's joining the masking tape to the steel, is not going to particularly like getting hot, and so this is slow going. I can't dip this in water, I'm going to destroy the paper, so I have to grind on it for like 20 seconds, and then let it sit for a few minutes. So that's great. We're using a 24 grit belt, and it is just slow going. But it's gonna get there. 
and uh, it's gonna be all looking neat and symmetrical pretty shortly. the bulk of the perimeter that can be reached with the edge of the belt on the flat pattern of the grinder ground to 120 grit which is good it's as far as we need to go right now but plenty of spaces that still need a lot of attention the trouble is it just takes time because you're grinding you let it cool you grind you let it cool you grind you let it cool but over here something cool has arrived yes. tell us about the new arrival will these rock they're stones. It's a stone. It's an abrasive stone that a lot of blades misuse. These ones specifically uh, are what my mentor Salem Straub likes to use. Uh, so I went ahead and ordered a set of these um, in the 150 grit all the way up to 1000 grit. And those should help get into the nice tight spaces inside the sword breaker where, you know, a sandpaper Sandpaper with a, with a backing wouldn't really want to get in there. You can shape these stones so that they'll fit into those those tight areas and stuff. You could like even that. like take a diamond stone and like put a radius on too, right? Exactly. To match so, up radiuses. Exactly. So what this should be a pretty useful. Exactly. It's ex that's that's the plan right there. They're also not particularly expensive either. No, they're not. You know, was, this whole set was what thirty bucks. I think this is thirty dollars in stones. Yeah. I wanna I wanna keep hearing and keep checking in with how these stones. Are working out because people are also using these to replace certain elements of the hand sanding process aren't they yep. they're using them for plunge lines they're even sometimes using them to hand sand mm. a very mm. hard blade because this will cut harder material Ex than even the fantastic sandpaper that we use i have to say that these teeth are just looking phenomenal all the little inconsistencies are starting to pop out but we should be able to address them with these stones so that is super duper exciting i I'm gonna have a hell of a time working on this piece here because I have to open up all of this neatly. So I'm, I'm excited to see probably hopping on the die filer to open up that inside spot there. But we're gonna call it there for an episode and we're gonna thank today's sponsor, which is Nord. VPN. NordVPN is a virtual private network. That's what they offer. They have over 5,000 servers in 59 countries, and those servers are going to be able to act as an intermediary between you and the websites you browse, being able to give you an extra bit of anonymity because they will encrypt the data that is sent between you and them. Now that military grade encryption happens effortlessly and you then have an app on iOS, Android, PC or Mac that allows you to effortlessly pick the countries that you want the websites you're browsing to think you're browsing from. Now if there are streaming services that are not available in your country or are only available in other countries, this means that you can access them, but it also means that you're protecting yourself from identity theft so much better. While you're traveling and you're on public Wi-Fi networks, it is essential that you have a VPN to protect yourself. So for for those summer plans, be sure to go to nordvpn.com forward slash forge to get yourself 75% off a three year plan of NordVPN, as well as an extra month for free when you use code forge at checkout. Thank you NordVPN for keeping us safe while it is that we are online. And thank you for supporting our sponsors, guys. I really, really appreciate it. That helps keep this all running. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you all on the next one. Bye-bye.